And one of those victims is 18-year-old Aaliyah Gonzalez. She was one of the two people killed during the Brooklyn Day mass shooting. Tonight, her mother, Crystal Gonzalez, is voicing frustration as her family still waits to learn who killed Aaliyah. They can't interrogate these children due to the current juvenile crime laws, right? So where does that leave the family, the victims, the survivors of this? We are in limbo until y'all figure it out. Now, where's the swift justice there? I would like to move on. I would like to do something else. <laughs> and I sat down with Crystal as she talks about that dreadful night and her message to lawmakers. So let's let's talk about uh, July 2nd, 2023. Let's let's go back to that day. Mm -hmm. um, did you get a chance to see Aaliyah that day? Absolutely. So w what did you two talk about? So funny because I wanted to make um, one of her favorites is uh, Spanish stewed chicken and yellow rice and beans, right? So I made that that night. And I remember telling her, because as she was getting prepared to go out, um, I texted her, I said, hey, if you're still around, your food is here. So I know that she ate her favorite meal, um, which would be her last meal, that it was something that she knows her mom made for her. How did you actually find out what happened to Aaliyah? Mm. So, um, I woke up to my husband screaming. But when you heard the word shot, mm -hmm. you weren't you weren't thinking the worst, were mm -hmm. you? What were you thinking? Mm -hmm. if, she, if, she, if she was shot, she'll be okay. I'm not stopping for any tape, any police officer, anything. And I run right up to where they told me she would be at. And I see this sheet. And that's when I knew that was her, because I could see her foot. She wore Crocs that day, I know. Uh, a 15-year-old, 17-year-old, two 18-year-olds yeah. were arrested, albeit none charged with your daughter's murder, mm -hmm. um, but a slew of charges. Mm -hmm. If you were to describe the juvenile system of Maryland in one word, what would it be? Preventable. What this is, is a mismanagement of resources. It's been proven. One of the, two of the offenders at Brooklyn Day had ankle monitors on, right? And yet, we are allowing the perpetrators of these young juveniles that we want to point the finger at, we're allowing them to be arrested and released. Do you think we need to just start from ground zero with juvenile laws? Absolutely. We are not understanding that the laws are dictating what the culture looks like. Our laws set the precedent for what we see now. So again, it's mismanagement of resources. And you're allowing these kids to repeat offenses by laws that you put in place. They know right from wrong. So I can hear you tell me that no one, well, a child under the age of 25 shouldn't be in an adult system. Well, here we know, we have a lot of adult things that we do between the ages of our teen years and 25. So you're able to start families and get married, right? You're able to do these things. Why are people not ask, asking these questions? Mm -hmm. But when you have a violent offender commit a violent act, all of a sudden he don't know better. We're about two weeks away from mm. the new legislative session in Annapolis. Mm -hmm. Of course, juvenile crime is going to be one of the main topics, if not the main topic. Yeah. What do you want to see from lawmakers at the state level? It blows my mind that we have such a huge gun violence problem. And it is not written into law that we have some form of education in the school as far as gun violence prevention. If you could go back to July 2nd, mm -hmm. before 9 o'clock, what would you change? Nothing. I know that's not what people want to hear, but I'm very careful about creating fantasy. Because what we're doing now is talk about what we could have done. That's not our reality. But we must deal with what happened. And I also spoke with Aaliyah's older brother about his frustrations with the juvenile crime laws. Even if Tristan Jackson wasn't the person that, you know, eventually, inevitably murdered Aaliyah, to me, everyone that shot a gun that night, they, they aided the death of my sister. You know what I'm saying? So I want them all to be held accountable. And he mentioned Tristan Jackson. He's the 18-year-old arrested in connection 
who could be transferred to a juvenile court based on a ruling from Judge Charles Bloomquist. It is important to note Jackson has not been charged in Aaliyah's murder. For more of my interview with Aaliyah's mother, head to foxbaltimore.com and look for this story. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.